Hello guys, how's it going? So we are back on the M Creator mod development without needing to know any code. So let's go here and today's we will be working on achievement, creative tabs, keybinds, and basic GUI. So none of these should need the resources, but keep in mind you always go to resources, create item block texture when you need that. So let's see, which one should we start off with? Let's do achievement. I'll just give it a basic name here, achievement, and there we go. Let it load. All right, so we want our achievement name. Let's see, uh, you have performed a task. Achievement description, perform. Uh, I was going to say perform a random task. Um, do something boring. Achievement icon will be dirt. Yeah. Okay, is independent? Yes. Is special? Yes, it's super special. It's like the hardest dang thing ever to do. Let's uh go ahead and just set some random coordinates here. And I think that'll be pretty far away. And we can finish now. There you go. Now you gotta wait for those green words to pop up. I will uh, come back once they have. Okay, so we have now um, created the achievement. Now, once you have created the achievement, you'll just want you'll want to uh, make it so you can get the achievement. So let's go to my workspace. Uh, let's just say let's get rare purple thing. I forgot what that is. Let's go ahead and edit that. Next, next, when food on item creation. Yeah, there should be one. Something about achievements here. Achievement get. And then we can put our achievement in here. So let's see. There we go. Add event. So once you create the item, you will now get that achievement. Now we let it do this again and wait for the green letters to appear. And there we go. We got the green letters. So we can go ahead and work on the next thing. So we just made our achievement. So let's work on our creative tab. Um, my mod creative tab. That's a good name for it, I guess. Okay, creative tab name. My creative tab. Don't judge me. There we go. And for this, let's see what items we got here. We have the cloud. Let's put the uranium block. They're not block, but... And there you go. And okay, we got the green letters. So let's go to our workspace. Let's say we want to put our multi-tool into um, that creative tab. Let's go here. Um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I I don't know how to put it in there. You should there should be a thing where you select the tab for where you want to put it in. Yeah, see, you got the tab on the item. I don't know why it's not there for the uh, tool. That's uh, kind of weird. Anywho, I'll see you after the green letters pop up. And there we go. We got the green letters. So let's move on to the next thing. Um. Oh, by the way, sorry if this feels rushed or anything. I don't know. I just. I go through this quickly. Um, I'm also kind of chosen the easiest ones. I was going to add overlay to this list, but I don't know why, how that works. I've tried using it. It just seems really confusing. Um, so, let's see. Do we want to use keybind or basic GUI next? We want to do basic GUI first. Because we're going to later have the keybind open that. So, let's go ahead. Alright, so click to open editor. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's make this a bit wider. And... That's good. Add button. Alright, text of the button. Press me fools. Add event. Wait. Ah, dang it, what did I do? I messed something up. Okay, when button is clicked, it will explode. Uh, 
Um, I don't really know how this exploding thing works, so I'll just put it like, like this. I think that's good. And we shall put you right there. And we can add an image if you want. Uh, I don't know. Pigman mod. Pigman. I'll put you right there. Ah, you're a... Uh, you're beautiful, okay? That's that's what you are. Uh, add text label. So this just puts some text. So let's say we want to say... Don't press it explodes. We can do that, and then you can pick a color. Let's go with a uh, light blue. Actually, it's going to explode. We need an orangish color. Right about there. Don't press, it explodes. And add a separator. Um, that's just the a line. Doesn't really do. Um, I don't know why it has that also. In case you were wondering, um, move component or move component. So that's basically say so you click on something. Ah, let me select you. Can I select from over there? Yes, I can. So I can move the uh, page, move that picture. I want to add a image though I do kind of other what's that Ooh. let's see what you look like good that's that's beautiful it's utterly beautiful I love it okay I'll put you right there because you're cool um and then we can add another button let's just say uh hmm don't ah don't press me be smart and at event, when the button is clicked, we will have it, so... There you go, print and server chat, text to print. I warned you. Oopsies. There you go, that should be good. And there we go, that's uh, pretty much a good GUI right there. Um, I think it's pretty good, that's uh, all there is. I will probably show you the add text input in a more advanced episode. But right now, I'm um, just going over some of the basics. So, let's uh, click finish and wait for the green words to appear. Okay, so we got the green words here. Now let's go and make our last thing a key bind. Uh, what key could it be? Letter Z. Let's use that key, because why not, right? It all rhymes. Key that triggers the event. It's in here somewhere. There we go. Letter Z, all the way at the bottom. Game modes that support this key. Uh, survival mode. Special features. This is kind of cool. So um, you can check if it has an item. And if it does, it will um, let you open it. You can check and let you consume the same item. And it checks if you're holding that item when you uh, try and use the key bind. So let's go check and consume. It will consume an apple. You must make an offering. So, once the key is pressed, it will open a basic GUI, the one we just created. Open basic GUI. GUI to open. Um, I guess that's the one we made? I mean, I sure hope so. That's what I named it anyways. And, now we wait for the green letters. Okay, so we got the green letters here. Now we have done the achievement, creative tab, keybind, and basic GUI. And like I said, I wanted to do overlay for this episode, because I just want to get some of the uh, stuff out of the way, like, that you don't need resources for, but overlay you would need. I tried to do it, but I just couldn't get it to work or something. So, anyways, now we can start client. Now, keep in mind, sometimes this can be really laggy, because you are running it, you are running Minecraft through another program. So, um, just give it a second to run here, and I will be back when it opens up. Okay, so we got Minecraft open here. Now, um, keep in mind... It will probably be laggy, and you cannot have multiple worlds. That is a, a big disclaimer here. So, um, anywho, um, regarding the achievement, here we go. Um, I already did it. I was testing out. I forgot. Oh, yeah, you can't undo achievements. <sighs> All right, so, um, next we have the creative tab I made. Oopsies. And boom, there it is with all the exclamation points. And there's the uranium I put in it, the thing-o-matic. I'm ugly, or maybe it's just you. <laughs> Ex 
explodes. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I made it for. Um, then we can do the new Z key. I gotta be in survival, you can't do it in creative. And it's not working. Where are my controls? Controls. There you go. It's set to Z. I don't know why it's not working. Um, I'll set it to Z again and see if it works now. And Z. Okay, so there might be a problem with that. There might have been something I did wrong specifically. I don't know. I will go real fast and try to fix that. Okay, so silly old me. I couldn't figure out my own mod. Yep. So that's sad. I forgot you have to have an apple first, then you hit Z. And it's still not working. <laughs> okay, this is my last chance. Let me hit the Z key. Finally! Finally. Okay, so let's see here. We got Press Me Fools. And I blew up and died. Yeah. Nope. Um, I want to get out of that first and respawn. Oopsies. So, let's, uh... Oops, wrong button. Go Z. Press Me Fools. I'm sorry. I just love that button so much. It's kind of neat that you can, uh, hold on to it, though. Alright, don't press me. Be smart. Huh. This does nothing. Oh, well, I guess that one didn't work. That's, uh, upsetting. At least I can blow myself up still. Yeah! Okay, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.